Well, I guess it's it was something that I've I did a little bit when uh, when I was a kid. Probably it was when I uh, could actually afford tools that I really started to get into it. And I've never had any formal training. I've just kind of taught myself, but. I really like building stuff and being able to use it when it's done. So it's, uh, so it's really been mostly out of need. I'm also uh, kind of stubborn in that if I can build it, I don't want to buy it. My dad was kind of the same way is that if, if he couldn't build it himself, then he probably wasn't going to buy it or hire somebody else to build it for him. It just didn't get done. And my brother actually has his own construction company. So I think it's kind of in the family and the genes somehow. But got this shop built about six months ago, so started to acquire tools now that I have some place to do it. And now it uh, kind of consumes most of my weekends is out here building stuff. I built some patio furniture, so that I built this chair and uh, it's got a matching set and a table. Uh, I built a, a big pergola on the back of the house. I guess I'm, I'm getting into it more and more where it's, uh, it doesn't, look as bad as when I, when I first built it. It's starting to become uh, actually things that look okay and I'm okay with putting in my house. And I've been looking for a project to do with all that excess wood and I think that this was going to be a perfect project because I just got a new bed not too long ago and I, I didn't have a headboard. I probably spent about three days standing in front of this stupid thing trying to figure out how to fit all these pieces together and something that looks okay. And then I, I suddenly got this idea that to make this tree out of it. Most of the pieces are all redwood, which I think would look really good, stained, clear essentially. And the design that I've come up with, essentially the, these, these little pieces here make all the leaves. Then you put them all in a kind of a circular pattern. And then I've got some cedar to, to use as the trunk. And it looks, it looks really cool. I'm very excited to get it done. So this is the finished product. So it took me the majority of the summer to get it all done, but uh, finally got uh, all the little pieces put together and uh, got it stained and, and uh, um, put a polyurethane coat on it to keep it, uh, to keep it nice. It's certainly a passion, but it's really what I do at work that allows me to be able to do this outside of work. It's, it's a pretty expensive hobby doing woodworking. So definitely uh, working in the mines has really helped to, uh, I guess, fund my, fund my hobby. I manage a group of about uh, 21 engineers and technicians, but probably the most enjoyable part of my day is getting out and, and working with my team, um, kind of getting them to, to tell me the problems they're working on and, and work them through them with them. To me, mining is everything I want out of a career. It's, it's good pay, flexible hours, um, you get a lot of uh, diversity of work. It's not, you're not stuck doing the same thing every day. Um, you can change it up. There's a lot of different facets to, to mining engineering that I think can, can apply to a lot of different people. I travel a lot in my time off. I own my own house. I've got a good piece of land, own my own vehicle. You know, I'm, I'm not in mining because it pays really well, although it does but I just, I just love my job. Even if it didn't pay as well as it did, I'd probably still be doing it.